you for joining us for our Gospel Reflection from the Book of Common Prayer Lectionary. My name is Father Tom Papazaglakis, and I serve as rector at St. George's Episcopal Church in Clifton Park, New York. Today is Monday, Thursday of Holy Week. Let us pray. Almighty Father, whose dear Son, on the night before He suffered, instituted the sacrament of His body and blood, Mercifully grant that we may receive it thankfully in remembrance of Jesus Christ our Lord, who in these holy mysteries gives us a pledge of eternal life, and who now lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. lesson comes from the Gospel of John, the 17th chapter, beginning at the first verse. After Jesus had spoken these words, he looked up to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son, so that the Son may glorify you, since you have given him authority over all people, to give eternal life to all whom you have given him. And this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. I glorified you on earth by finishing the work that you gave me to do. So now, Father, glorify me in your own presence with the glory that I had in your presence before the world existed. I have made your name known to those whom you gave me from the world. They were yours, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything you have given me is from you. For the words that you gave to me, I have given to them. And they have received them and know in truth that I came from you. And they have believed that you sent me. I am asking on their behalf. I am not asking on behalf of the world, but on behalf of those whom you gave me, because they are yours. All mine are yours, and yours are mine, and I have been glorified in them. And now I am no longer in the world, But they are in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, protect them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one as we are one. Here ends the lesson. Today is Monday, Thursday of Holy Week. Monday comes from the Latin word mandatum, meaning mandate or commandment. And mandatum novum comes from an earlier section of John's Gospel in chapter 13 when Jesus said, A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another just as I have loved you, that you also love one another. You can hear more about Jesus and his instructions for this new commandment, including the Eucharist or Holy Communion and foot washing during our Monday Thursday service. Today's reading, Jesus knew that he would soon be departing to the Father and leaving his disciples to carry on in this world. As he was preparing his followers, he looked up to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. He knew that the time had come for his divine appointment with God the Father. Listen to his words in the midst of a situation of people surrounding him, trying to destroy him by any means necessary. Notice Jesus did not call down lightning bolts and guardian angels to bring him victory. Instead, he simply said, Glorify your Son, so that the Son may glorify you. Jesus then reminded the disciples that all authority over all people had been given to him, and that within that power, he had the divine power and authority to grant eternal life to all who choose to believe in him and to follow him as their Lord and Savior. Jesus then spelled out what is eternal life. Eternal life is knowing the only true God and knowing Jesus Christ as his only begotten Son. The Father is glorified by the Son as God becomes known to the world through Jesus. Jesus prayed for his disciples. Jesus praised his disciples for responding to the message of God that they had received through him. As Jesus moved toward the end of his earthly ministry, he was not praying for the world in its hostility and unbelief. He prayed for his disciples' preservation and their sanctification.
Jesus carefully made the distinction in this prayer that the world is not to be preserved in its rebellion or sanctified in its unbelief. Jesus knew that he would soon depart to the Father and leave his disciples in this world. Since the disciples would be in the world, Jesus prayed for their protection. The hostility against God, which fell on Jesus, would now fall on his followers. Jesus, in calling on his Holy Father, pointed up the distinction between God and sinful creatures. Jesus prayed for the unity of his followers, and he used the model of unity of the Father and the Son, so that his disciples may be one as they are one. Now the unity he points to seems to be that of will and purpose, that they be unified in their desire to serve and glorify the Son. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will, to comfort us in all our afflictions, to defend us from all error, and to lead us into all truth. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Join us every weekday for our Gospel Reflection. If you live in the Clifton Park area, please join us for our Monday Thursday service or our Good Friday service. And join us for worship at 4.30 on Saturday afternoons and 9 a.m. this Sunday for our special Easter service. If you're unable to join us in person, join us virtually through our YouTube channel. Check out our webpage for all in-person and virtual offerings.